Now that can be as technically as this, or if your hips are more comfortable being a bit wider apart, you can turn the feet out like this. And then we're just going to stay here for a couple of moments and feel what happens in the body as you do that. And we begin to construct a loose meditation position. Now it doesn't matter which leg you bring forward in the beginning because we're going to do both sides. So I'm going to sit like this today. And the first thing I'm going to do is simply shift my hips from side to side like this. And notice I've got this hand, because I'm a bit tight in this area of the body today, I've got this hand here and I'm pressing myself away like this. Now watch. Walk yourself forwards on your hands like this and you should be able to see on this camera that I'm holding my back as straight as I can. I've lifted my chest slightly as well and what I'm doing is I'm moving pelvis and trunk forwards in between the two thigh bones. So we're revolving around the hip joints. Don't bend your back like this trying to do it in the beginning. We will have better stretches for the back later on. Rest my head on my fist like this. And then as I get a bit looser, like this, and then eventually you'll be on the ground like this. And Make sure you've got plenty of material around the groin. Keep the bottom on the cushion like this. And try to pull the knees down to the ground using your bottom muscles. Now often you can't feel how to do that. So put the hands underneath the knees, lift them slightly, and then press the knees down into the hands while holding them in that position. You'll be able to feel that strongly. And then when you go back to doing this, you'll find that you'll be able to press the knees down to the ground like this. Also work on pulling the body forwards gently. This one. Now while I've got the, the mat empty, so to speak, I want to show you um, what are probably the most important muscles to stretch. We're going to do this in two different ways. But there's a muscle in the hip which, if you're not flexible, this muscle in the hip here actually stops you doing this here. If you find that you're sitting like this, then you're slumped. Um, well, of course, that's what the, the pillows are designed to help, and we'll talk more about that later. But it's actually these muscles here that are stopping you doing this action, and that's what we're going to stretch now. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. One way of doing it, the easiest way, is to put this leg across here, hold it like so, see how the hip comes off the ground a little bit, and press the hip back down onto the ground, and lift your chest like this and try and bring that knee. 